The food industry is going through a robotics revolution. There is also a growing need to feed more people. Integrating automation and robots can increase productivity, reduce overhead, provide flexibility, minimize waste, increase quality, and help companies be more efficient. The environmental impact and social responsibility of food production systems is also raising greater concerns. Automation, robotics, and sensors are now being used to drive more. Robotics for the food industry is an opportunity to solve the labor problem that we have uh, today across agriculture and food production. The food industry adopted robotics pretty early. Robots were used for picking, packing, as well as shipping. Today, robots are used for precision control in mixing, in slurrying as well. So there's a lot of applications now in the modern food industry of robotics. Automation is the use of technology to automatically perform a process or a procedure. Automation is causing dramatic shifts in the workforce. Automation is improving our efficiency. Um, it's reducing the, the, the labor problems that we have in, in some of the, if you look at the, the path from farm to table, Food production was inherently a very labor-intensive process. Early robotics introduced um, replacement of that repetitive human labor. Now robots are introduced to mix different ingredients to create a unique flavor profile. Uh, that was really not possible with the precision of, uh, of a human being. So. The, the kind of textures that we, are, uh, that we have today, the kind of flavor profiles we get today, uh, the precision at which these are uh, made available, um, these are all possible with, uh, with the advent of, of robotics. Employers need to train food scientists and technologists new skills to fully leverage all of these emerging technologies. At its core, robotics is all about the design, construction, operation, and application of robots. Simply, robotics is the hardware that will remove all the repetitive tasks human workers would find tedious and time-consuming. It is the physical machine doing the work in agriculture, factories, and throughout the supply chain. Robotics, with the help of AI, will also create new kinds of economics. Some believe by 2050, there will be more autonomous robotic manufacturing that happens without human presence. We are already seeing modern industrial robots that can do amazing things in applications such as packaging and palletizing, measurement, inspection, and testing, among many other things. IDC says worldwide spending on robotics and related services will soar to $188 billion in 2020. Building on this even further, a sensor is a device that measures and sends data about a particular environment. So sensors are important in the Internet of Food because there are many, many different things that need to be orchestrated in a food production environment. A sensor typically is a piece of hardware that monitors some live condition. Sensors are electronic components that are powered that have some ability to measure and record data. Uh, they can either transmit that data or we can read that data uh, off of uh, of a wired connection, for example, or a wireless connection. And then typically we report that data up uh, into the cloud. Sensors are ways to understand the granularity of what's going on, in my case, with a plant. So um, it could be the chemical data, it could be the atmospheric data, it could be any number of things that we're looking for. Sensors for us tend to be individual units that monitor live conditions, whether it's air temperature, humidity, light, motion, um, and then in some instances even a spectrometer reading like a chemistry reading, where robotics is really a mechanized form of managing some kind of process. 
This type of technology is needed in the food industry today, especially when it comes to farming. When it comes down to fruit crops and vegetable crops and some other crops where we are still using a lot of labor to do pretty much everything. Still, we are beginning to see this technology being used in early stages of farming. Some farmers have started using automated uh, robotic technologies for farming. The most simple sensor is a weather station. Uh, you won't meet a farmer anywhere that doesn't have some sort of sensor, whether it be a rain gauge or, or a full-blown digital weather uh, station uh, on their farm. Moving down the supply chain, robotics can also redefine how we interact with food in processing and in warehouses. Like you can take a stranded asset, let's call it a large building, that had a warehouse where they could only go three stories high because of the forklift limitations, and now they can go ten stories high. And everything is automated. There are bots moving around a track, and they can go all the way to each pick. Um, processing plants are generally a simpler, uh, easier environment for robots to be effective, and, and we already see a lot of robotic technologies used in packing house and, and post-harvest environment. Robotics that are going to be uh, ensuring the safety, for example, of milk packaging um, or sensors that are going to be able to track uh, uh, HACCP products uh, like milk or even like beer uh, while it's in distribution. Those are things that are going to increase the, the safety of the food supply. Those are things that are going to uh, increase our ability to minimize food waste. Sensors and robotics can even go as far as the consumer helping to identify consumer preference. Sensors are new for gathering data about consumer preferences. The current method to know consumer preference is by asking them a question and getting their response. The use of sensors is to inform consumers about what is in their food. The benefits of the technology are endless. Every time we have a human uh, touch that food is an opportunity for contamination. So the more we can automate, the more we can use robotics and things like that, the safer our food supply gets. But it is also um, helping attract young generation of farmers to be involved in farming. The time is now to implement these technologies. If you're not a, an innovator or you're not a, on the bleeding edge, you need to be a fast follower because those that don't eventually are going to find themselves in a situation where they can't compete anymore. Sensors are vital to the Internet of Food because it's the primary point of contact for understanding any data that comes from that food. This is only the beginning. The intelligence is coming that will enable the food industry to do more than ever thought possible. Bye. <laughs>